She was playing with a band called Lonely Deer, and I was playing with Patrick Watson. And we ended up on a tour about two weeks together, and, and right away, um, Hedika's voice caught my ear as something unique and something I hadn't heard before. And right away, I said, I want to play music with this person. If you listen to the first record through the second one through this one now, there's definitely a wide evolution and a, yeah, and a long travel there. We call the record Turning Rocks. It was, it was something that I did a lot when I was a kid, just looking under rocks. Because <laughs> it, it was always a surprise what was underneath. This time around, I kind of decided to take everything that I've been listening to that's been catching my ear that, at the time and let it all kind of soak in and come in and not fight those influences, just let it kind of shape what was coming out. For the records before it had been more of a maybe looking inwards process, but at this time I didn't have that need at all, so I was looking for other subjects and, and at the same time when I was thinking about all that I had conversations with my grandma who was uh, like she's been kind of sharing her stories about her life with me lately to, to sum up. It made me feel that there was so much life that I was had happened on the exact same land that I grew up in. I chose these people that has lived around this area, this house, and used them as frames for a perspective of life. I think that the cultures, the musical cultures of our two different countries has a huge impact. The blend of those two musically, I find, has been what we've been working a lot for this album. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it interesting, and I think it definitely helps lend to our sound, to the u uniqueness of what we do.